Hello, Alina from x Mastery here. Today we're going to talk railings or balustrade is the way that Xactimate puts it. I had this question, I believe it was a comment on my channel, but I'm not sure, may have been an email request. So um, here's Emmy. She's being employee of the month, making sure that the office is spick and span. Anyhow, we're gonna look at how to create a railing or balustrade in a staircase and in a wall in today's Tuesday Tech Tips. So stay tuned and I'll show you how this works. Here I am in an estimate and I've already created the sketch. You'll notice that I am in X1, so I do have this blue ribbon over here. Everything that is to the right of the blue ribbon is pretty much the same in version 28, which I know a majority of you are still using. So this will still work for you on 28, no problem. Just ignore the left-hand side uh, ribbon area over here and you'll, be, you'll, you'll catch my drift. You'll see how this is gonna work. It's pretty quick and easy on how to create this type of scenario. So what is the scenario? Let's take a look. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Take a look in 3D at all levels, and we have a room on top of our kitchen and our breakfast nook. We've got this loft up here. It's looking out over our living room, and you'll notice that my stairs have a balustrade or railing is another way of saying that. I forget different people use different nomenclatures in different areas of the country. So you may just call this a railing. Um, so that is what I'm going to show you how to create. First of all, let's take a look at how I created the living room. It was really simple. I just made the ceiling and I must select just the living room, by the way, guys. This is a pro tip. See how my stairs and my living room are both selected right now? I only want to see the living room properties because right now it's wrapping the stairs and showing me the stair properties as well, so I can't alter the properties of the living room. So to get the living room only, you want to hover next to the living room and click right there near the label or on the label. Sometimes it takes clicking on the label to select just the living room. Then I can go to the properties and now I can affect the ceiling height. So I made the ceiling height 17 for the uh, breakfast area and the kitchen. I did leave the ceiling height at eight foot. And then on the second level, we'll call this the loft. Oops, not left, we're gonna call it the loft. There we go. We, uh, I just left it at an eight foot ceiling height. So nothing uh, fancy on the loft rooms as they're set um, up here. Pretty much the only thing that's you know custom is this living room is set to, I believe, 17, yeah. Ceiling height of 17 feet. So let me go ahead and show you how I turn that wall. First, we're gonna go with the railing or the balustrade on the stairs. So uh, quickly, you just go to the properties and you go to wall type here. So if it's full, which is what we're used to seeing, the full wall, it looks like that. Now, again, I'm not selecting the stairs, guys. You gotta be selective with your selector. You've gotta select the wall. Once you have got that wall in blue, you should go to the properties, and then it should say wall type under dimensions. And remember, some of these guys can get hidden. Okay, some of these little areas become closed. We have to open those up. You don't have to do construction. We don't use that very often, but um, under dimension, sometimes that gets closed. Wall type is full right now. We want it to be missing end to end. You can do it missing above stairs if you'd like or partially missing, play around with it, have a good time. But if you want the balustrade look that I had just a minute ago where it is open below the stairs, you want missing end to end, then you'll see railing balustrade pop up. Okay, so this is what uh, is sometimes missing and it will be missing on the wall for sure, the regular room wall. It doesn't pop up until you tell it wall type missing end to end, it's hidden. Okay, so now I've got that set. Let's go take a look at uh, in 3D. Just tapping three on my keyboard, that's all you have to do to get to the 3D mode and then tap one to get back to the plan mode. So you can see there, I've got these little dotted lines and of course in 3D, it looks like a railing. So how do we do that with a wall? Well, let's go to the second level loft. Click on the wall. Again, don't select the room. You're not gonna have much fun. You wanna select the wall, the, um, the, the walls that you would like to affect and make into the railing. We could go to the properties. And again, missing end to end. If I turn it to no, 
the wall comes back and the balustrade is not even an option. So that's where people get confused. It's not something that's intuitive here. Missing end to end sounds, why would I want to do that? I want a balustrade, right? No, you got to turn it to yes, then you can tell it balustrade. Isn't that strange? It's so funny how exact meat works and hides things sometimes in these um, sub menus in these different areas. So that's why I'm sure um, you know I, I get asked this question: is it's just it's kind of hidden behind this answer right here, missing end to end yes, and then your railing will pop up. And you can make it as as high as uh, you want it to. Um, you can even say no if you just wanted an open wall, you know, where the kids can just jump off into the living room. We used to do that when I was little. No railing dissuaded us from trying to jump off. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Okay, that's a story for another day. But you get the idea. You highlight the wall. You go to the railing and make it yes. And that adds a safeguard. The kids will still try to put a bunch of pillows and blankets and jump off. That's what we used to do to your kids. Anyways, <laughs> I digress. Uh, that's how you, that's as easy and simple as it is. You just change the wall and that's the whole tricky thing. First of all, you've got to get the wall highlighted only. I think that's where a lot of people get confused, whether it be of the wall of a staircase or the wall of a room. And then once you're in the properties, you have to do the counterintuitive of making it missing end to end yes in order to tell the balustrade to come in. Okay, so now we've got a nice little balcony in our breakfast area. That's fun. Alrighty, and again, if you want to see everything in 3D, if you're not used to that, it's three on your keyboard to get to 3D. Number one, to get back to plan view, which is one dimensional, right? Three for three dimensions, one for one dimensional or plan view. My name is Alina Wilson with Exit Mate Mastery. Right now, I have the doors open to my Exit Mate Master University. So if you're a contractor that uses Xactimate and you're ready to get trained up, ready to become a pro at supplementing, writing estimates that adjusters, you know, everything's documented and, and, and all your line items are accounted for, then you may want to look at the Exit Mate Mastery University. If you go over to my uh, www.xmatemastery.com. You'll go to the online training area and I've got a free video series that I'm showing right now and an invite to the university, which is our newest online course that I guide you through. It's a guided course, which is really fun. So, uh, so it's half self-study, half guided. It's a really cool, uh, beautiful thing. And uh, you'll find out more at our website. And uh, if you like this video, please press like below or comment if you have any questions on how I did what I did. Be sure to comment and let me know if you have any feedback. And um, hope you guys have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.